I want to I want to share out of this thing about holy. You know, in the in the Bible, Paul says, "Be ye holy, for I am holy." Speaking for the Lord is His mouthpiece. How how? <laughs> Be you holy, for I am holy. Well, here's the key: is Christ. He is our holiness. He makes us holy. Apart from Him, we're not holy, but with Him, we are. He is my holiness. He is my righteousness. He is my salvation. He's everything. He's my all in all. I need to return to my first love for Jesus. The first verse of the Bible that the word holy is used. This is the law of first mention. If you really want to understand something, you go to the first place that God chose to introduce it to the earth. From heaven to the earth. He did it through Moses. It's Exodus chapter 3 verse 5. Just keep playing, please. It says that he said, you had God speak to you. God said to Moses, Moshe. Did you know Moshe? I mean, I can get off of so many rabbit trails because the Hebrew is so intricately woven together. But Moshe, his name starts with the Mem. Mem is the is the who is the thirteenth letter in the Hebrew alphabet, which is the is the number for love. Hava, the word for love in Hebrew, has a numerical value of thirteen. First Corinthians chapter thirteen, the love chapter, it's all interwoven. But it's the Mem, and the letter Mem is the letter of transformation because we're transformed by His love. It's not by his judgment or severity or harshness. I was changed by his love. I remember sitting in a chair. I was born again. And I knew a measure of it. But I got there was a deeper revelation that the Father gave me about his love for me. I was sitting in a chair by myself in a living room in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Just thinking about the Lord, seeking the Lord. He began to speak to me about His love. He just overwhelmed me with His love. And it changed me. This is a long time ago. <laughs> Every time you engage with His love, it changes you. It's transforming. And He said to Moses, Draw not, draw not nigh hither, don't come close, but put off thy shoes from off thy feet. That's why I took the shoes off. For the place wherein thou stands is holy ground. I believe we're standing on holy ground this morning. He's going to baptize us with a fresh baptism of his love. I want to real quickly tell you about this word compassion for holy. Be you holy for I am holy, says the Lord. It's only made up of three Hebrew letters. It's the Kuf, which is the 19th letter in their alphabet. We're at the end of a 19th season year. The second letter is the Dalit, which is an open door or a man humbling himself <laughs> you know how you enter into the open door you know how to go into heaven to the spirit it's humility humble yourself and he will lift you up and then the third letter is the shin which is the fire upon the head it's the fire of God that destroys all chaos and creates perfection you like that? That's what holy means. So when the kuf, which is actually the word for foolish monkey or foolish man, if you've been foolish, humble yourself before the Lord. He will lift you up. And through the fire, 
purifies, He sanctifies, not us. It's not we ourselves who's made us. He makes us holy. He lifts us up. He purifies our motives. He purifies our hearts. Our hands are feet. Jesus, the Holy Spirit is the fire. Does it work in us to separate us, to set us apart? Real quickly, this word Kodesh for holy in Hebrew has a gematria of 404. Hallelujah. Or that's the large numerical value. The small is eight. What is eight in the beginning? day huh. what's 404 hallelujah I'm glad you asked well it's holy it's Kadesh but in Hebrew when other words have the same numerical value that means they're connected together they work together to do something see so all the the, the word of the Lord the 22 living letters of light God's DNA which make up fullness of his word written and spoken and in the intense motives thoughts of his hearts the full word of God 404 holy here's some other words that have the same value as the word holy in Hebrew the word for 50 what's 50 the great jubilee great restoration the full restoration of all things other words that have a 404 are the word search so I want you to with me invite the Holy Spirit search our hearts oh God reveal any iniquity any wicked way in me Lord reveal it search me oh God and know me reveal any wicked way in me why so that his fire can burn it up fire can purge us, purify us, sanctify us so we are set apart for him but I love this more than any other word in Hebrew that has the same numerical value as holy is the word anoint Rex the word anoint holy <laughs> when he anoints us whoo that anointing of the Holy Ghost anointed with fire see this is the baptism of fire the anointing of fire to set us apart it's the anointing and the, the, the word right after that in Hebrew that has a 404 numerical value is the word destroy because the anointing destroys what the next word in Hebrew is the word for enchantment see the anointing destroys all the work of the enemy any enchantments of the enemy anything any delusion any any confusion any misunderstanding any any of that stuff any lie any falsehood <laughs> it's the anointing that breaks the yoke oh, thank you lord and the, the second word that this is used more than any other with this besides holy is the word rejoice so when you're when the anointing comes Oh, there's a rejoicing that begins. We rejoice. We rejoice in Him. Two other words are make and forget. Because when you enter in, His anointing, His fire comes upon you. His love, that liquid love comes upon you. It makes you forget the past. You forget what was. So you can take hold of what is. Forget your past. Just let it go. Take hold of the new. Take hold of Him. Let go of the things that are old. Take hold of the new thing. Thank you, Lord. So I believe there's a fresh baptism of love. Baptism of first love. With His first love. 